You ready? Let's go. Where are we headed today? We're going to Adolfo. Adolfo. <laughs> I don't know the rest of it. <laughs> We're going to go see the northern part of where people go to watch whales in Magdalena Bay. Yeah. We're going to go to the town up to the north of that. And uh, you're right, I forgot the name. It's Adolfo Mateo. Adolfo Mateo, that's But it. there's a third name in there. Um, this is this is what Adolfo I do. Adolfo Mateo Lopez? Yes, you got it. Look at that. Oh, Third right. time's a charm. So we're going there because I already forgot where it was <laughs> called. And uh, if you're coming into this area, it's to the north of Constitution, Ciudad de Constitucion. And you need to know if you're headed south through that town, it is what we call Stop Sign City. There's a hundred of them. Uh, if you stand out as an overlander, definitely make sure that you stop. Look around, wait, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, or I don't know, one Norway, two Norway, however you do it. Count to three and then go along. So I'm never the first person to go through the stop sign, even if I'm the first person there. I just don't want to be a target. We're not saying that the police are bad in this town, but there are stories. We've met lots of people. And then we've read lots of stories online that this is about the worst as it gets from people getting pulled over for running a stop sign. And thankfully, we haven't been pulled over yet. Thankfully. So it's worked for us. So we're super conservative when we drive. We're never in a rush. And I don't want to ever have to tell you how to deal with getting pulled over and paying a ticket and all that. That being said, we are north of the town, north of the city of Constitution. So we are going to go into the city of Insurgente, uh, which is another great name, the Insurgents City. And yeah. from there, we're going to go out to the Pacific, and it's about a 22-mile, I think we saw, about a 20-mile drive. Mm -hmm. So it should be beautiful. We'll get out there, and it's another place where there's spectacular whale watching. We're probably not going to watch the whales today, unless there's a great deal. We walk up, and somebody's like, hey, you want to go for a ride on the back of that whale? <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> we don't even like the idea of people touching whales, let alone riding on their backs, yeah, Lindsay. but... <laughs> no buts. So we're going to go check out town, scope it out, so you have an idea of what you'd be getting into if you wanted to do the whale watching there. And then we're headed off toward Loreto. Yeah, which we haven't been to yet. I have not been to Loreto, so thanks to our awesome the... Pacific Coast caravan over yeah. Christmas. We skipped Loreto, so we're going to go to a new place. Yep. <laughs> Should we be dragging our sewer pipe behind? No. <laughs> did you did you unplug? <laughs> did you unplug? We haven't had that mistake yet either, which has been great. We have left stuff behind though. Yeah. But no man, we've never left a man behind. No man has ever been left behind. No man has ever been left behind. Lopez Mateo. We have made it here. We weren't sure this morning if the road in was going to be completely paved. It is, and it's a very nice road. Um, almost looks like newly paved. Great drive in, and it's a really cute little town. I actually, I think I like it better than the one yesterday. For sure. Um, there's a nice little area uh, where you can park. There is a 10 peso entrance fee per person, but that's super cheap. It's like 50 cents. So uh, we paid, we're in, it's like a little, like kind of like a shopping plaza kind of thing. You get to go up and pick which uh, tour company you want to go with to go see the gray whales. So we're going to go walk up and we'll take you along with us. <laughs> Oh, 
We're gonna go see some whales. Yeah, that kind of happened out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, we just booked a last minute trip and a couple walked up and it was just too good of a deal to pass up, so we're going. Let's go. Yeah. So much fun. That was pretty special. It was great. <laughs> we had a mama whale and a baby whale interact with us. And uh, yeah. It was awesome. Totally <laughs> worth it. We came into town and we thought, let's just walk around and take some pictures so we can tell you how to do it. And then I was like, wait, I got to go find out how much it is and just ask and yeah. see what's up. And so I went and I talked to the guy and he said, 1,600 pesos per hour. Between one to six people, it doesn't matter how many people are on the boat, up to six. It is charged per boat. Per boat. Mm -hmm. I, I did the math in my head. I was like, wow, that's pretty affordable, especially if you divide by six. Yeah. So, so we started looking around. Well, we thought maybe, well, maybe we'll get Melissa and Scott and the boys here. We're like, well, they can't make it. And mm -hmm. then someone walks up. And she was interested. <laughs> and so we talked about it. I'm like, oh, wow, four people divide that by four. That's pretty good. And then Lindsay and I said, yep, let's do it. We came back to the camper to put the dog up and change. By the time we get back, there was another couple, a third couple. So we yeah. had six of us, which was a perfect number. That boat could probably hold 20 people. Yeah, but I mean, it could hold definitely. It had it the seats 12, and all that. I mean, double what we had. But because they limited it to six, it was an awesome experience. Yep, yeah, because it wasn't the boat wasn't crowded. We were able to go to each Either side, side and we weren't in anyone's way and... Yeah, so. it was a great experience. So we went with Piratas, easy to remember, Pirates. When you get into town and you come up to the little pavilion where they've got all this stuff set up around the whales, they're the first one on the corner. You'll notice them for us. They were the first people that didn't tug at my shirt or cat call or whatever, trying to get our, our attention. So I like to shop that way for tours and went up to them and initiated a conversation. Super friendly. Uh, Jesus ended up being our captain. We really appreciated the way that he was captain, I mean, around the whales. Yeah, he didn't he didn't harass the whales or chase the whales. He was great because we had other boats around us, you know, wanting to look at this mom and baby. They were super friendly whales, and, uh, and he was great about not, 
you know, going over them or getting in their way or getting the engine near them. And that was great. I really appreciated that. I mean, it that. meant that we didn't get, like, those perfect pictures of the whales. Yeah, or, I mean. Because that's not how it is in nature. Like, you have to respect the whales in their we home. We wanted to give them the opportunity to come up to us. And they did twice. Yeah. So it was, it was, was great. Perfect. Yeah. And so I learned... I've been really critical of this experience because I'm like, no whale actually will approach a boat. Why would a whale approach a boat? And sure enough, the whales will approach a boat. Yeah. So I don't care uh, your views on this. I was very critical personally, and I learned that <clears throat> with a responsible captain like ours, who stays in the distance, he gets you close enough so the whales know where you are, but he stays far enough in the distance that the whales can decide to come to you totally different experience than I was ever expecting. I thought for sure we were going to have to get on a boat that goes and harasses whales, and I didn't want to pay for that. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to promote it. I wouldn't put it on YouTube. I wouldn't tell anybody to have that experience. But what we saw today was the whales were genuinely interested, intrigued. At one point for another boat, that baby was rolling was playing and them. playing and like opening, opening its and, mouth and, and like almost spitting water like you'd see, yeah. you know, like, like, in a. and they like to be splashed. Yeah. So people were splashing them. It was, it was a really cool experience and it did change my mind about how we interact. And it's probably, I'm sure there are bad examples. Mm -hmm. We fortunately, and that's why we say piratas, you'll remember that piratas and Jesus, hopefully you remember that, you know, can't go can't go wrong with having Jesus on your boat. <laughs> so if you remember Jesus and Piratas, when you come out here to the town that I can't remember. <laughs> the Adolfo, Adolfo Lopez Mateo. Mateo. <laughs> when you come to this town and you go to Piratas and you ask for Jesus to be your captain, you're going to have a great experience. Tell him we sent you. He'll probably remember us, the crazy people. Um, <laughs> but ask for them. Go with them. All the tours are the same price. All the, the four or five different companies. So it's not like you're going to get a better deal going with somebody else. You will have a phenomenal experience. That's what we're all about. We're not getting paid a dollar for this. We're not affiliates. It's a small little mom and pop shop. We just truly believe that that was a remarkable experience. Out of nowhere. We weren't planning it. Mm -hmm. We were just planning again to show up here, take a look around, hop in the truck, and drive two hours to Laredo. Speaking of which, you ready to drive two hours to Laredo? Yeah. Let's go. Never been to Laredo. Our, yeah. It's a new we spot. Find our camp spot. Let's go do night. it. Do you know how to get out of here? No. What? You don't know how to get out We're of here? We're lost? It was just a single road in, Lindsay. How do you not know how to go the single no, road out? No, it was it's not. It's, oh. <laughs> gotcha. I don't know how to get out. It was just a straight road. You cannot get lost on a straight road. <laughs> So we're going to go back to Insurgente. From here, we're going to be north of Insurgente, so we're going to have to take a right and turn south. Everybody does, unless you're going to San Juanico. Um, but we're going to turn right into um, Insurgente, go about two miles, and then we're going to connect with the one. Mm -hmm. And we will take the one north. If you're headed to La Paz, you'll take the one south. We're headed into Laredo, so we'll connect with the one and take that north to Laredo. Onward. to Loretto. I know absolutely nothing about Loretto because we skipped it last time we were supposed to come through here. So we're in town. Um, had some tight turns in town. Looks like it's a... Uh, what? We're gonna go for a walk in just a minute. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to tell the camera. So anyway, we're gonna go for a walk.
so as you know the way we travel we just follow breadcrumbs and we go where god tells us to go and cool stuff happens so we walked down the pier today yeah and just, just to check it out just to check it out yeah. and there's a statue down there with some sea lions on it and there's a family down there and they were barking like sea lions which was <laughs> awesome while they're taking their picture while they're yeah. taking their picture and ever starts barking and so it's great you know way to break in the ice and have a conversation and it turns out they are traveling by truck camper mm -hmm. and they've got a house in and now we're in a gonzaga bay el buffeo <laughs> yeah. yeah in the northern part of gonzaga bay el so, buffeo yeah, yeah. So we were invited to stop by on our way north, and we're going to, 100% we are yeah. going to, because that's just the way the story goes. We told them about what we do in Baja and how we're trying to connect people, other travelers, to opportunities to serve and to bring, um, you know, things to different communities. Mm -hmm. And they said, that sounds cool. We'd like to see how we can be a part of helping you out. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm actually, I was really upset when we were driving into Loretto. We hit this road where it was like, Bump, 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 bump. Like it wasn't a bumpy road; it was a smooth road. It was but the way it was paved. I guess. They had these bumps every so yeah. often, so if you're going 20 miles an hour, it's like blah blah blah. And I, was, I wasn't feeling Loretto, and we turned in these little narrow roads, and it's hard to find where we were going. But so far, I think I think Loretto is pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's, it's really cute. big for people who expats who moved to Baja. Mm -hmm. We, we have seen a fair number of them out. But it still feels like a Mexican town. Yeah, it still feels so, like. So, not like Los Barriles. Um, no offense to all of our friends who live in Los Barriles. Yeah. <laughs> but that was, uh, that was a gringo town, and everybody, I think, knows that. Yeah, I think they know it. This I don't is, think they're offended by it. This is not so much, and so we're going to go wander around tomorrow and check out some more. But for now, we're going to cook dinner, crawl in bed, watch a movie pass out yeah i'm exhausted what did we, we did do? a lot today yeah we did so we, <laughs> we literally drove. we literally drove from the pacific to the sea of cortez we crossed yeah, the peninsula today day. and it wasn't like it was a three thousand mile drive but but the road getting closer to loretto was crazy oh, like was. i couldn't imagine doing it on the other side the other because, way because we had the downhill if, way if you're heading south out of loretto You've got a lot of uphills and um, switchbacks, and mm -hmm. we're not going to do that. We're headed the other way, and I don't see us coming back in that direction. Mm -mm. I would almost rather take the north road. <laughs> which about killed us. Which about killed us. I would almost rather take that road than have to drive those switchbacks uphill with no pull-offs. But, mm. but hey, our transmission is the weakest point. We love Rocket. Rocket does a great job. Rocket has all the power in the world that we need, but right now the transmission is the weak point, and Rocket would not have enjoyed that uphill no. drive. So if you have a truck with a little bit more reliable transmission and a nice bit of power, you'll have no problem doing it. It is beautiful either way. That's, it was yeah, stunning. It's a oh drive. my goodness, it was beautiful. Probably better in the morning if you can plan it to do it in the morning. The the mountains are going to be lit up spectacularly, but we had a great great little drive into town. We got set up. Good day. Good day. The way I see it, we'll probably be here for two or three days in this particular yeah. spot. Yeah, for sure. I think I think it's a nice place to just get out and explore Loretto on foot. And um, yeah, so I'm talking about the future again. I got to stop doing that. Yeah, because who knows? Who knows? I don't know the future. Do you know the future? If you do, leave us a comment. <laughs> leave us the winning lottery numbers in whatever state you're in yes. and whatever day so i know what what plane flight to catch <laughs> if you like this video please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so please like the video add a positive comment particularly if you know the future we would appreciate that <laughs> and we will see you next time Yeah, this is a mama, in the close oh here God. is the, the baby. Yes. Oh my gosh, she's right here on the boat. <laughs> yeah, still here.